Congratulations on joining the Texans. When you visited here, what do you remember about that? Did you get a good feeling about the Texans that they might be the team that picked you as you went on your other trips and have a follow up? When I when I took the visit to uh, Texas, uh, it, it felt great. Uh, the whole coaching staff, they welcomed me with open arms. Everybody loved me. And I, I love the coaching staff there, too, and everybody else who was on the staff. So I kind of knew I had a good feeling that it would be a chance that I would go there. And for anybody that hasn't watched you play a ton, how would you describe your style of play and your mentality toward football? Thank you. Uh, I would say I'm, I'm a very diverse DB. The, I'm, you're going to see me playing everywhere. Uh, I'm, I'm going to come and give my all to this organization no matter what. Uh, I'm going to leave everything out there on the field. I'm going to always come out here every single day. I'm going to get the best person on and off the field always. Cole. Cole Thompson, USA Today, Texans Wire. Uh, I just want to ask you, when, when you look back at your time at USC, what would you say was your favorite memory? And also, do you have a favorite highlight interception? Because it was feeling like every other play, you were taking the ball back for 15, 20 yards down the field. Yeah. I would say probably my, my favorite memory was my uh, my very first game. Uh, my freshman year, I got to start as a, as a true freshman, go out there and play in front of a lot of people. And my emotions was everywhere. I remember me just crying before the game, just couldn't believe it. I got to start be in front of everybody. And I went out there and had a really good game. So I think that's, that's really my favorite moment. And then I would say my very first uh, interception, my uh, freshman year versus Washington State. I would say that's one to remember. I remember getting that interception, and it felt good. I caught everybody in my family right after the game. And then a quick follow-up for you. When you look at a guy like D'Amico Ryans, who's been in the NFL, he's been close to the league. He recently yes, retired sir. just a few years ago. What does it mean to have a coach that understands what it's like to go through the daily life of an NFL player and also – having a defensive-minded coach, especially for your first head coach at the next level? Yes, sir. Uh, it's great to have a coach like that, especially he he relates to the players. Like you said, he was a former player also, so he knows what it, he knows what it takes. He knows what, what us players go through. So so he's going to be able to relate to us, and I know he's a, he's a really uh, awesome coach. So, Brian Bearfield. Hey, Ken. Welcome to Houston. Brian Bearfield with Big Sarge yes, Media. Sir. Around you, you see me just call me Sarge. Everybody else will. So, um, I have uh, two two questions for you. One, have you ever been to you know Have you ever gotten a chance to visit the city of Houston? And if so, what did you think about it? Oh uh, yeah, I, I got to visit when I took the, my thirty visits up there. But I really didn't get to see the city that much. I was just at the facility. But I think I would love Houston. And the, the second question I have for you, as a as a former two way player, you played receiver in, in yes, high school as well, right? So as yes, a former two way player, when you play, is it does it make it easier for you as a defensive back knowing that you ran those routes, seen those routes, and know some of their tendencies? Does it make it easier for you on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, I would say it helped me a lot on the defensive side of the ball because I used to say I play receiver. Receiver is my first love, so it, it helps me. It's like a cheat code. I know when they're gonna break down. I know a certain amount of yards it, uh, for them to run a certain amount of routes. Uh, so it, it, it really helps me on the defensive side. And then it helped me a lot with, like, my ball skills, I would say. Thank you. Jonathan Alexander. Um, Kaylin, hey, congratulations. Um, I was curious, what do you remember from your uh, 30 visit with the Texans? And I got another question after that. Uh, I, like I, said, I just remember everybody just there, the whole coaching staff just walking me with open arms. Everybody like loved me. It seemed like it was it was a great vibe from everybody in the building. Everybody was telling me what they loved about me. Nobody was like trying to down downplay me like uh like some other visits. Everybody was just telling me like what they expect out of me, what they see out of me, and they're telling me I got a bright future. So that's I, I really loved that from the coaching staff. And how did the uh, – I, I hopped in a little bit late, so I'm sorry if I if you've been asked this already. But how did the call go – like, how quickly did you find out that the Texans were trading up for you? How did that call go? Uh, It, it went great. The the, the Texans called – they they called me and told me they were going to trade up for me. And then I uh, said, my emotions started going everywhere. My mom was next to me. She was crying. But I, I really – I felt good about the pick because, like I said, I knew the coaching staff. I knew – they really love me as a player and as a person. So I knew I'd be in good hands. And I knew I knew where the organization is going. I know it's a great place for me to be. Kim Davis. Hi, Kaylin. It's Kim Davis from Chalk Talk. Uh, congratulations and welcome to the Houston. To Houston. Yes, um, two questions. 
Um, first, what is it uh, that made you decide, you said receiver was your first love to, to decide to settle on the defensive side? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would say uh, just growing, growing up in high, like when you're in high school, you go to these camps, uh, everybody wants to play receiver. DB is the hard job. Nobody wants to play DB. No, Everybody's scared to lose reps and go out there and, and, and not win every rep. A DB is going to come with that. You're not going to win every single rep. So I remember going to the camps and the lines was really long. And I remember like, I want to get these reps. So I'm going to go to the DB side. So I went to the DB mm -hmm. side and it just, it, it worked out from there. And about the Texans defense, did you see them play much last year? And what do you know about this, this defensive unit? Defense, it's a real young defense. Uh, they, got, they got some young pieces on, on the defense. I know the defense, they're going to play their, 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 their heart out every single play. Everybody's on the defense. Uh, seems really close. When I went to the facility, I got to meet some of the guys also and got to talk to them. And they were just telling me, like, uh, it's, a, it's a real family up there. And I know that me going into this, to this team, I know I'm going to be walking with open arms and, and I'm going to hop on the train and get the rolling with the team, with the defense. And we're going we're gonna to go out here and make plays. All right. Thank you. Ryan Bearfield. Um, Kaylin, what what was it like going up against Caleb in practice? And the second question I have, the follow-up question I have for you is, do you think that you are already prepared to come to the NFL, especially playing for USC? It seems like, you know, that sideline is star-studded. So you all have, you know, all kind of stars out at your game. So are you already prepared to come into the NFL? Yeah, well, first question, uh, Competing against Caleb Williams every single day, uh, it, it was a blessing because I know he's one of the best on that side of the ball, and he knows I'm one of the best on my on this side of the ball. So he pushed me every single day. I'll push him every single day, and and we kind of hold each other accountable every single day on and off the field. So that's 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 a real close friend of mine, and he I know that he's gonna kill it uh, where where he's at right now. But it, it it was really good going against him, and then USC USC uh prepare me for this next level, like you said. I, it's, it's everybody on the sideline. I got a lot of good resources around me, so I know I could reach out. I have great people like Taylor Mays in the room with me who was once in my position as a safety, and I know like he helped me develop my game and, and helped me to what, what to expect at the next level, so I know I'm fully prepared for this. Thank you. All right, we'll close with Aaron Wilson. And Kaylin, can you were able to have nine career interceptions, obviously have a nose for the football. How would you describe sort of the way you instinctively are able to anticipate what the quarterback's doing and have a follow-up? Uh, I would say just watching film. Watching film helps me play fast. and I, I know what to expect. I know what to read when I'm watching film. I, I was on the offensive side of the ball, so I know where this quarterback's about to throw this ball. I know when to break. And I would say that helped me get a lot of interceptions. I've always been a guy who, who liked interceptions. And – I saw, I think you did trips with um, Falcons, Dolphins, Jaguars. What were some of the other ones that you remember? Uh, 49ers, the Chargers. 